Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So guess who's alive? Me. I know I am gonna say something and it's gonna be something like blah 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 yeah, yeah. I've been really busy and it's it's true. I mean I started uni again, I'm so busy, I'm like stuck with all these projects and whatever. For today's video I thought I would film a empties video. So basically I have emptied a lot of stuff over time and I wanted to um, kind of do a brief review, review, really. kind of wanted to do a brief review on all the products that I've used up. The first product that I want to mention is this one right here. This is the L'Oreal True Match. This is in the color W4 which is perfect for me. Um, unfortunately, I cannot find this foundation in the color W4 anywhere in Holland so if you do happen to know a place where I can get them like online or wherever please do let me know this foundation is hands down the best foundation I've ever used it's the true match and as I said before it's just amazing it's super lightweight it does wonders to your skin like you only need a little bit it is medium to high coverage uh, but it still feels like you're wearing nothing and it feels really good really good on your skin. So that is that um, Then I have this right here a lot of stuff um, I have here the retread um, Conditioner and this one is from Lush. This conditioner is amazing. It is um, made by soy milk yogurt and fresh melons now the scent of this one not to keen on, um, but it does make your hair so super silky soft. So highly recommend this. Another product that I have right here is the Max Factor Masterpiece. Um, this is the old packaging. I think this is the new packaging, so um, it has changed. But as you can tell, I have repurchased and I have been repurchasing this mascara for ages now. It's one of my best mascaras, or I mean one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Um, basically, I don't, I don't think you can see that. I have something that I want to recommend to anyone that has a Catrice in their, uh, you know, in their country, city, wherever you live. Um, this is the Catrice Made to Stay, and it's disgusting to even touch this thing because it's so disgusting right now. But yeah, so this is the Catrice Made to Stay. It's basically a new eye pencil that you apply in your inner, uh, like what inner waterline. So inner waterline, I mean just your waterline. Uh, so you apply this in your um, waterline and I love this one. It's amazing. It's two euros or three euros So I mean like it's definitely worth the price. What do I have? I have another product by Catrice. This is the all-round concealer um, Yeah, I have used this sometimes and I've basically used this when I'm like Trying out a quick look just this color right here. I've been using a little bit but the rest of it, I am not really too happy with the um, uh, with the texture of this thing. I don't know. I, I just don't like this one as much. It's like the texture is very weird. The way it feels on my skin, it doesn't stay. It's very like oily. I, I don't know. I don't recommend this. Another product from uh, the drugstore, but um, also like super affordable is the Essence Gel Eyeliner. I think you've seen this um, this thing in videos before. Um, it has now completely dried up but I absolutely love this one. It's the um, uh, Catrice Gel, I mean the Essence Gel Eyeliner in the color Midnight in Paris. I love this gel eyeliner. It's one of the best that I have used. It does dry up very fast but I mean this thing is only 3 euros and I have one by MAC, the Black Track I think it's called. And that one, you know, it finishes up or I mean it dries up really fast as well. So kind of if you look at it that way, I mean it's the same, you know, like that one dries up really fast as well. But this thing is 3 euros and that one is like around 20. So it's totally worth it if it dries. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this thing. I have used two of these. I don't use it anymore because I'm using the NARS Creamy Custard Radiant Concealer which is kind of the same. I would say this is the low budget version. Um, then I have another skin product and this is the Ultimate Ulti Melt Deep Purifying Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, so on some days like when I go to events or when I have like photo shoots or stuff like that I do like to apply the um, 
I do like to apply like a hot cloth cleanser. Uh, basically, you just apply this and this really melts off all the makeup. I wouldn't recommend this for on a daily base because it really, it's not that much makeup that I apply on a daily base. But, you know, like on really like events where you're applying a lot of crap on your face, I do recommend this one and it's by Soap and Glory called the Ultima Melt. It does feel so good. Like you apply this, you, um, you have like a muslin cloth or any other, you know, like little towel. You wet that with hot water. You apply that all over your face and you apply that all over your face and it feels so good, especially if you're tired. This is a great way to remove makeup when you've had a really long day and you just want to get rid of everything. This is the um, Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. This is in the color 4. 4.0 which is my summer color in the winter I use the 3.0 um, yeah in the winter I get like crazily wider than I am in the summer I get I get tan pretty easily so this product this is what I did to it like literally I broke the thing like I broke this product to get in there because we don't have a urban decay and there's like literally no drop in here like it's completely dry. I have like literally used everything that was in here because I love this foundation. It's amazing. Um, it's like a, it's, it's, I think it's pretty, uh, I would say it's pretty much the same as the L'Oreal True Match. Unfortunately, this one is also not available in Holland, so it kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, this product, there I did it again, but this product. Um, but seriously, if you live somewhere where they have Urban Decay, try out this foundation, like, voila, it's so good. So that was basically all the products that I wanted to mention. Uh, let me know if I should make, like, a monthly or maybe, like, a, uh, every once in a while kind of thing out of these empties videos. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is all slash hijab hills. I love Instagramming, so join me on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video, inshallah. Take care. Bye.